The number of people traveling 80 kilometers or more from home for Thanksgiving is expected to reach 55.4 million this week, a slight increase over last year. However, there are some steps travelers can take to improve the experience. Most travelers, more than 49 million, are expected to drive to their Thanksgiving destinations. Traffic is anticipated to peak on Wednesday, the day before the holiday. The worst time to be on the road will be between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. that day, according to Enrix, a provider of transportation data and insights. Not only will traffic jams slow you down, they can result in crashes caused by distracted drivers, said Megan Jones, senior actuary at Arity, a company that analyzes mobility data. However, speeding also increases around the holiday, she said, with the greatest rate of high-speed driving, over 129 km per hour, on the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Drivers should be thoughtful about their own behavior and alert to those around them, she said. Before Thanksgiving, and then the Sunday after Thanksgiving, uh, when people are returning home. The, yeah, the general advice, on, on any given day of uh, the Thanksgiving holiday, if you can leave very early in the morning, you'll be, be better off, of course. We know with flight delays and things like that, if there's a way to book that earliest flight, that's always the best bet. Um, and always d download. A couple of bits of relief for road trip travelers are that gas prices are lower than this time last year in many states significantly lower so there is going to be a bit of relief when you fill up at the pump and if you're renting a car this year you can expect to pay about 20 percent less than this time last year because there was a spike in prices during 2022 owing to the pandemic-related shortage of rental cars.